How the hell did you manage that? In all honesty, I have no idea. Hello everyone, we are back. The final part of the Cozy Coop build. So, in this one, I'm gonna get this painted, I'm gonna get all of it bolted together, I'm gonna get all of it fastened together, get all the cool jazzy bits on, get it all finished off completely and strapped up, ready to go to the person that actually wants this thing. Um, and then I will give you the big reveal at the end. But for now, we're gonna get this place looking like a paint shop. And just like that, we have one of the most ghetto paint shops you could ever imagine. But we are ready to paint, so let's get started. Okay, let's get some primer. So I'm gonna do the bottom side first, um, get the coats done on that, and then flip it over and get the top bit done. We'll get started. Ah, give it 30 second, uh, 30 minutes and we'll uh, get another coat on. Back again for second coat. Right, time for the third coat. Coat number three. Shout out to my brother who will be watching this cringing because garage doors are open. But it's cold and wet, so. Right. So we will be back in about three hours to flip that over, get the last coat on, and then I'm probably going to bed. So we're back. And now we're going to do the top layer one. Right. first coat on. I went a bit thick with it to be fair, but we're running low on this, so I may just have enough to do three coats. Right, now we're on to coat number two. Right, one more coat and we should be good. Final coat. And I can go to bed because I'm shattered. Right. And that's done for priming. So, tomorrow, we can get some colour to it. Okay. So we are back. I have been to Halfords. I have picked up the paint needed. So, now we're going to get the first lot of white on. I was going to do the black parts originally first, uh, and then I thought, um, well, black's harder to cover than white, if I make any mistakes. So, we're going to get it sprayed at white. I'm going to leave out the parts that I'm going to do black, um, but if I overflow onto them, it's not so much of a big deal. So let's get the coats of white on. So we've gone with candy white. I did want to get Canada white, um, but they didn't have any. So I'm guessing this is the closest I'm going to get to it. Um, and I'm just hoping that it looks nice when it's on.
first coat on. Coat number two. Second coat a lot thicker. Hold on. Okay. Time for coat number three. Give it a couple more coats after this. Coat number four. <laughs> One more coat and we should be good. Okay, so last coat. I'm hoping this works and then we'll be giving it a slightly longer break than usual and we'll get it masked up ready for black. Good one. Right, so I'm gonna give that a good three hours, come back, check on it, and we'll see how we're getting on. And then uh, we can look about possibly masking it up if it's dried or if it's ready to go. Okay, so we're back. Um, oh, let me move this fucking camera. Okay, so we're back. I'm gonna start masking this thing up. So what I'm gonna do now is just finish off the masking and we'll get rid of the paint. So as you can see, we have it kind of masked up, ready for the black. Um, this is gonna be the probably the, the, the most awkward part because if this goes wrong, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but that's how it goes. First light layer of black done. Let's give it 15 and we'll go for the next coat. Coat number two. Bit of a heavy coat this time. Right, heavy coat. 15, we'll come back, slap on another one. Okay, so that covered it a lot better than I thought it was gonna. So what I'm gonna do is actually one more coat with this. So let's see how we get on. There's a little bit of paint left in that, but we have finished the third coat. So I'm gonna give it three three or so hours, flip that, 
get the inside painted up, leave it overnight, and we'll come back to it in the morning. So, give it three hours, I'll crack on, get the rest of it in. Okay, so we're back, it's flipped round. Let's get a bit of brown it. First coat on, I may need to get some more of this uh, black spray paint, but we'll see. Okay, so we're back again. Second layer on top. Right, 15 minutes, final coat, I believe. So, we're close to midnight, one more coat, and this is coat number three. <clears throat> and that is it. So, we finished spraying that. Tomorrow, that should have at least hardened to a point of where I can start to assemble it. Uh, obviously there's the other bits to do i'm not gonna video me spraying every single bit just because it'll be a pain so what i'm gonna do is tomorrow get that all cleaned up get it all wiped down load up the uh, wheels onto it and start to get it looking a bit like it's meant to as you can see behind me we have it sprayed it's got the white it's got the black interior there is a lot to touch up on this um just where like some of the masking tape has gripped the pin and pulled it away um i mean it isn't as bad as i thought i was gonna have to do i thought there was gonna be a lot more touch-ups to it but that will get done at some point for now i'm gonna get the wheels fitted on this properly and we'll get it stanced and uh, then i can start painting up the rest of it and we'll get it started putting together so whilst the cozy coop's finishing up and all the bits kind of drying on that uh i went to go see my friend simon he is basically the owner of uh, SW Performance. They do remaps and a lot of other little things. Uh, I'll link them in the uh, description below so you can check them out. Um, but yeah, they do remaps and all kinds of crazy stuff. Really good at what they do. Anyway, we got rid of the coffee table and we got this in its place. Um, so we did get some money for the coffee table. On top of that, we've ended up with some steel pipe, some rubber coated aluminium pipe, uh, he also chucked in a handy spool of flux, flux core welding stuff so we can get back to welding. Um, some copper pipe, a Milwaukee tough box, and an M12 Milwaukee impact driver? Or impact screwdriver? I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll find out. But anyway, we got all that for it. So I don't think that was a bad haul. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is finish off with the Cozy Coupe, get that all sorted and done and then it's just a matter of pulling it all together, seeing where we're at, and then seeing what the next plan is. So bear with me, the Coast Coop is still on, and I'll get that finished. Okay, so as some of you may know, I work in T-shirt printing. Um, obviously we're using vinyls and heat transfer vinyls. However, I am curious about vinyl wrapping. So I have some of the vinyl that I use, not the heat transfer stuff, this is like permanent vinyl. Uh, I'm going to have a go at kind of wrapping the headlight surrounds to give them more of a car sort of feel. Um, so yeah, we'll get into that now. Okay, so we have some red and some silver. Um, my thoughts are, cut it out to the right size, slap it on, give it some heat, drops a good one. And don't worry, if this goes wrong, we have some more vinyl. As I said, I do this for a job. If you are looking for t-shirts, check out JD Customs. And that's the only sponsorship that it's gonna get. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Not gonna lie, that's not as smooth as I was hoping, but it's better than it was originally. So let me crack on with these and uh, we'll get them fitted. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, these didn't turn out as 100% as good. It looks there's slight markings on them. They look okay. You can't really see it on the camera, but there is some like um, slight marks where I've not been able to wrap it properly. I definitely, definitely do want to learn how to do wrapping properly. Because obviously you can wrap cars, you can tint windows, protective films, all sorts. Be nice to add to the arsenal of uh, of skills. Anyway, let's get these put on the uh, girls cube. Let's give that a nice finish effect. Perfect. Okay, so I have finished off pretty much everything. The only bits that I've got left to do is do the touch-ups and the paintwork. Um, I am contemplating on what I do with the spoiler and the splitter. Um, I have had a bit of a fallout with them. I'm not particularly liking how they sit, but we shall see. Um, and that's it really. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the big reveal. That is it. We finally finished the Cozy Coop and got it to the person it was intended for. And I hope he enjoys it and I hope everything goes swimmingly at the shows that he's going to be at. Um, so yeah, that's it. We're now consolidated everything. And we have the sum of £1,100 to start the next trade. I'm still in two minds of how I want to do this, whether I want to go... For another 300 pound car flip it up or whether i want to go all in with the big trade put all the money into the car and see what we can get back for it so that's pretty much everything and i hope you've enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the big reveal and thank you for liking watching subscribing it means the world to me and i will see you on the next video also wait to the end of this video because there is a surprise trailer for the next video.